Uh, so it's Peter here with Lyratron, and uh, I just want to do a quick rundown on the Airharp Pico. This is our newest model of Airharp here. Um, basically, uh, this is this is a USB MIDI controller, so it controls software synthesizers on your computer. So this is the layout of the Airharp Pico. These four rainbow colored buttons down on the bottom here, these are your chord select buttons. So you hold the thing in your hand like this, and you just press these four buttons. And those select what chord you want to play, and then you just throw them in the air. Uh, now, the this, this little brown thing up here, above the LED, this is actually a rocker switch. There's actually two buttons. If I press it on this side, the side that's toward the cable here, it transposes down. Now if I press it on this side, the other side over here, it transposes up. And every time you press it, it, it steps up or down half a step. So um, the ultrasound comes out of this little black thing. And where the ultrasound is aiming, since you can't see it or hear it, is basically indicated by where the light is shining. So if the light's shining on you, chances are the ultrasound is also. Uh, now, as for how these buttons are laid out, uh, these three, what I call the stoplight colored buttons, red, yellow, green. These are your chord select buttons. So the green one is plus one. Yellow is plus, sorry, yellow is plus two. <laughs> and red is plus four. So you can add one, two, and four together to make different numbers from one to seven. And those are your diatonic chords in whatever key you are playing in. So you can count up plus one, plus two, three, Four, five, six, seven. So I'm just adding those numbers together, and it's like I'm moving my triad up the piano keyboard. And then the fourth button has two functions now. One function is it'll flip the mood of the chord. So say I'm playing a major chord like C major. Actually, I'm not sure if this is in C anymore because I've been messing with the key, but whatever. I'm playing a major chord. Now if I press the blue button in conjunction with that, it'll turn into a minor chord. So, and conversely, say I want to play a minor chord, and then I just change my mind, I want to play a major chord, I press the blue button. It's the same chord, it just, it just goes from major to minor or minor to major. Now the blue button on its own, traditionally this button has not done anything. A new version of the firmware now makes it so this button is a, what I call, theremin mode button, where it just continuously... Um, controls a scale. So if I press the blue button alone, you're just you're just playing up and down the scale. Like if you took your finger and just moved it up and down the piano keyboard is what you're doing with just the blue button. And the idea is maybe you could play solos that way, or if you really want to try to pick out a melody or something, you could do that. So that's the basic layout of the Air Harp. It takes mini USB, which is this little plug right here, and then the other end goes into whatever USB uh, device that you have, software synthesizer. Right now I'm using a, a MacBook Air running uh, Apple Logic, but you can also use it with an iPhone, iPhone 6, if you have the lightning to USB camera connection adapter. Uh, so there's all kinds of options. We'll be shortly testing them uh, with uh, Android as well as Windows Phone to determine whether it's a viable option for controlling software synthesizers on those platforms. I suspect that it is, but oh, I don't want to come out and say that until we've tested it. So hopefully it will be. Peter here for Lyratron. I hope you enjoy the Airharp Pico. And more resources about this model and other models of Airharp are available at airharp.com.